All right, everyone, I am going to just start on opening this. And what this is, is a riser for my desk so that I will be able to manually go from a sitting position to a standing position at my desk. I think I might just cut this. There we go, that's good. on a string see <laughs> I think it may be easier if I have the other side opened as well all right okay now let's all right let's get this down onto the ground Styrofoam over here. Here's a manual, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to need. Here's over there. I'm going to put this upside down. So when I try to have already read this, I will try to be ready to start putting this together and setting it up on my desk, which is what the phone that is recording this is sitting on right now. Before I turn this off, I want to check and see how big this riser is compared to my desk. So let's check that out. It is almost as long as my desk, so it will take up most of my desk. But I think that will be okay when all is said and done. I'm just not too sure about fitting the laptop and everything on there. But we'll see how this goes. Hi everyone, this is me. I am back from my vacation and I am getting ready to set up my riser for my desk. I already started by unpacking it, so now I just got to get it set up. So let's get to it. First step is putting the riser on the desk. So I'm going to put this up here. The first thing I have to do after this is to cut the zip ties. This will be the best way to do that. All right. I'm just gonna throw it down there. I'm just gonna throw it down there because it's easier that way. I'm supposed to turn this over without damaging anything. Okay. Do I want this perfectly centered? Or do I want it off to the side? I'm thinking I'll put it off to the side a little bit. All right, now let's look at this. Now we're supposed to rise it all the way up. And there it is. Now I need to take this here and I've got to add brackets onto the back. We're taking D bolts, which are flat on the top, and we are attaching these. So we'll do it this way. No, that does not look right. Nope. What in the hell? Why are they showing it that way when it is not? That's still not the direction it's showing in the image. I just don't want to get this on and have it turn out to be wrong. Like that. You can see it goes out on that side. Okay. So. Alright. That's one. Two more on 
this side to go. All right, so we got the three screws on this bracket. Now we got to do the other side. Three more screws on this side. And I just finished watching the movie Wham! about the band Wham! of course. That was interesting. It brought back lots of memories because, you know, it all took place most of the early 80s to mid 80s. And then he left as fast as he came. Well, except George Michael went out on his own, but anyway. I was glad to at least see that it looked like the pairing was mostly amicable the whole time their decision to split up the group and for George Michael to go solo was amicable also. And it was interesting to see that George Michael was actually the shy one of the group, that it was actually Andrew that was very confident that got him into the whole thing. Like he's like, if it weren't for Andrew, he never would have gotten into it at all. He said during the movie that, um, George Michael's songwriting abilities were just um, exploding so much faster than Andrew's. And um, he just had so much talent that it just was kind of inevitable that a lot of the attention ended up going towards George Michael and he ended up going solo eventually. They also talked about the challenges with him being gay and performing as if he were straight, along with trying to gain that kind of admiration and following and everything, mostly by teenage girls, when, you know, that's not really who he is. And, and also, you know, trying to be very outgoing on stage when that's not really who he is. So that was interesting. We did the brackets they are on there now we're gonna go up onto the desk and see what we're supposed to do it appears that I need to keep this open that's why they wanted me to set it up there and then I've got to flip this over without scratching up my desk All right. okay. now going to get that front keyboard piece up here which is right here let's see how do they want this right there okay attach the keyboard tray bracket c's which are these to the desk converter this is the desk converter using e bolts which are in here so okay, i'm gonna do one on each side i think i'll do the two center ones first I don't know if anybody else gets this set, if it'll be the same, but for me, the bolts, the positioning needed to be set so that the screws were forward inside on the bracket as possible. So inside, this way, facing the desk. Now I'm going to put in the other four bolts with my hands initially. That's good. Now, we get to tighten these down. I don't know how well anyone can see me this way, but... I'm just gonna go back and forth. I prefer to do it this way. I feel like it'll be more even and balanced. There we go. Now, as far as I know, this is actually all the real setup for this device. Oh, wait a minute. Little bumpers to keep them scratching up the desk. I'm gonna put it right about there. I'm gonna remove this sticky thing. There we go. It's one side. And those are on there. I am going to flip this over and hope that I don't break anything or scratch anything. Honestly, name unavailable. I don't want anything to do with you. I feel like this will be better. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lower this. The thing is, i got to still set up all my stuff. 
Now I have that video camera attached to this computer. Well, the monitor is gonna go here. Let's start by putting the monitor on here. And that is right here. Okay. I'm actually thinking I can put the computer right here. I guess we'll give that a shot. And there went that camera. I guess that's okay. We got this. Let's see here. So you can see where the computer is now. It is hanging off of the edge of the desk a little bit. Usually when I use the computer, I have it actually closed and I look at it through the monitor. So we'll worry about that later. Right now, I'm just trying to get this before I have the monitor hooked up. I think I am going to tilt the camera a little more that direction. Start setting up the other pieces. This is a hard drive where I put all my videos and stuff like that. I think one or two terabytes extra chunk of space. After I'm done recording it and I feel like I've got it all edited, then I go ahead and move it over to this. For right now, let's plug it in here and see how things are. All right, I'm just waiting for this to turn on. This one plugs in here. Okay. So this doohickey here is going to attach to this extra drive. So let's get this hooked up. If I remember correctly, one is a power cord that goes from the box to the power strip. The other is what connects the drive to the laptop. All right, move that. It is, it sticks out on one side. I don't need this to be fast, so let's see if there is a USB spot on here that is not fast. I think it's on the other side. All right, so that is plugged in, and it will probably auto start something. I'm sure you're all happy to just see my tail end the whole time, but anyway. There it is. So, so we've got the drive on there. It automatically opens up this window. I am going to need to hook up the keyboard and mouse and get rid of that. Two USBs. Trail this in there. Hopefully this will all turn out all right once I get it in. Plug these in here. Oops, let me be off centered because that's off centered. I don't know because I'm going to need to scoop this over. Or it is not going to be center, and that is going to be very uncomfortable when I'm trying to sit down. The mouse can be hooked up to the keyboard. There we go. All right. I prefer to use my right hand, so we are going to set this over here. Still got the video going, which is good. With all the stuff that I've been doing, I was worried that would shut off. Close this. And then I have to scooch this over. Again. I'm going to lift this whole thing up because I need to make sure that everything is hooked up right. So Ooh, nice. So I don't need to lift it all the way up because I'm short enough that it doesn't need to be all the way up. So let's take that down a little bit. Go further to my elbows or something. Be good. So that's cool. Let's get these stupid wires and cables better. I'm thinking I need to raise this computer. Hopefully this is in a position that isn't going to mess anything up. I'm thinking this power cord, this will also get moved over there. It is not fancy, but it is on. I'm going to start um, unhooking the computer. I am going to disconnect it long enough to adjust these uh, the keyboard USBs. Okay, like this. The 
question is what is it going to look like when I set this down? I feel like if when I have this surface really completely collapsed, maybe I can put that laptop on top of some other surface to raise it up a little bit to get this core so that it is not like it is because I do not like that at all. I would not be in this position when I'm sitting at my desk. You know what? I forgot. Craig had given me these in the first place to put under that laptop because it needs extra air and stuff so I can put them up on these things. Eventually I am going to hang those um, degrees up but right now no. Oh look you can see right there that is the phone that I am taking the other image off of. It's probably going to have a lot of my back and backside and stuff like that in it, but I'm trying it on portrait video mode. I learned about that while I was on vacation. I thought it actually did a good job at taking video, even though it's supposed to be focusing on somebody's face and the stuff around it maybe blurred out a little bit. It's going to zoom in on something else. So that can be a little bit of a problem sometimes, but I thought it still did pretty well. I thought it looked pretty cool and interesting. After looking back at the other videos, it looked very flat. It blurs that other stuff out. It gives it more dimension and character. I am going to get off of here, and I will see you on my other stuff. I had a great vacation. Alaska was wonderful. I will be posting more of that stuff on here later. But I'm also glad to be home. It was a long vacation. I don't usually do more than what we're used to. I'm ready to be home. And we've already gotten lots of stuff done. Just in the little bit of time we've been back in this uh, day, day and one night.